Hey, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a light beam in Adobe Photoshop. And also I'm going to show you how to add dust particles as well to the light beam, just to make it a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to go to the beginning and walk you through the process. So the first thing we want to do is come to our layers panel and we want to come down to the bottom and add a new blank layer. Then we want to come up to the lasso tool, we want to select the polyagonal lasso tool. And what I'm going to do is select the window at the top here and also then draw in the beam. So I'm going to select around there and then I'm going to think about how the light would actually come through. So it would come through wider at the bottom and then across then up and then let's finish off just going around the window there so once you've got that selection there that's going to be the area of our light once you've got that come to your gradient tool come up to the gradient here what you want to be doing is going into the basics folder and it's the second one in so by default it will look like this make sure that it's set to white so what I'm going to do is just click at the top there and drag you can go away from the image as well, so out of frame if you want to. So that's good. Then what I'm going to do is come to Filter. I'm going to go to Blur Gallery, and I'm going to select Field Blur. And now it's going to say to you, in order to do that, we need to convert it to a smart object. Just say yes. And then you've got this pin here. So this is our focus pin. So bring it up to the window. And then what we're going to do is just increase that blur amount. So what we're looking for is structure change. So as you can see, if I go all the way, it's gonna completely blur all of that light. So you might wanna do some more creative stuff with this. You can, you can really blur light and just add it into images on the side, things like that. It's quite interesting. But the way that I see how these this light will come through this window, it won't be perfect, it'll be broken up. So I want a solid line, but I want some structure change within that. So maybe somewhere around there. Then let's add another one here. And again, what we can do is just increase that more. And you can see there we get some structure change. So we're just not getting a, that fake that fake line that we did create. We wanna try and break it up a little bit. So somewhere around there, I think is good. So once you're happy, just select okay. And that will then apply them settings so you can see there what we've done just by adding that that's that's given us a bit more of a realistic look we still have a solid line there which i would probably actually soften more so it's more like on the right hand side there because you wouldn't necessarily get a perfectly straight line so just just think about that now because it is a smart filter we can click into the blur gallery go back to it and we can make adjustments so that is the beauty of having a smart filter so it's just going to update let's just see if we can make this a little bit better around somewhere like there let's just blur that a little bit more there we go that's better so we've just got rid of that that line there so let's say okay to that okay you can close that property panels down now so once you got to this stage what we can do is start adding the dust particles we're going to need to create a brush for this so come over to your brush panel here select the brush and come over to the top here and where it says size we want to have that down to about four or five around there and then click on this folder up here which is your brush settings as you can see so in the shape dynamics we want to make sure that jitter is at a hundred percent your angle jitter you can push that up to around 80 percent roundness jitter 55 percent and then medium roundness to about 45 then go to scatter make sure that scatter is at a thousand percent and count jitter is at a hundred percent count is a one and then Transfer, we want to make sure the opacity jitter is at 100% and flow jitter is at 100%. And 
you can add a little bit of smoothing if you want to, but I'm just going to take that off. So close that down. Now this, so this is our dust particle brush now. So if I make the color black and just increase the size of the brush, you'll see what happens. So when I click, it is creating, as you can see, that brush is now moving. It's going to give us different shapes. If I just click loads and loads and loads, you'll see that it's going to give me random sizes, random shapes and random opacity. So what that means is, is that we don't have to be too careful about how we add these dust particles. You can be pretty confident that you're going to be OK. So the main thing is making that the, making sure that the size is set down to around five pixels and you can obviously change that size as well. So I'm going to select the color white and what I'm going to do is just start clicking. So the idea is, is just to have these dust particles here and there. Obviously, if we come and try and click in this area, it's white, so it's not going to work. You're not going to see it. But as we come down to this sort of area here, so this area here, you can see that because of the opacity change, sometimes we will see some dust particles. So it's just about clicking and adding as much or as little as you want. Sometimes less is more, but everybody has a different opinion on how much they want to add to the picture. So the other thing is you can change the size as well. You can use the bracket keys. So maybe go up to around seven pixels and just do some bigger ones. And again, just be really random with it. And then let's change it down to two. So it doesn't actually look like I'm doing anything, but you can probably see as I keep clicking, it's adding. Okay, so if I take this layer off, you could probably see now when I start adding what that's doing. So let's make the brush a little bit bigger. You can see there's all the dust particles. Okay, you get the idea. So keep changing the size, keep adding it, and eventually you will get these lovely sort of dust particles coming into effect. So the next thing then is, I'm just going to turn that layer back on, is to come up to filter and then we want to go to blur and then we're going to go to Gaussian blur and we want to add anywhere between one and two pixels just to blur these out a little bit. Again, there's no science to this. It comes down to whatever you prefer. Um, if you go the higher end, then obviously that's going to completely blur them and they'll, they'll disappear. So anywhere between one and two pixels usually sits quite well. Say so okay to that. And then the final stage with them is to come to the opacity and you can drop that down as well. So you can just drop that down. I usually do it to around 50% just to give me a little bit more of a realistic look. So once we've done that, then with this particular image, I'm going to come down to the bottom here. I'm going to go to photo filter. I'm just going to add a warming filter there. Just increase that density a little bit. There we go that's given as our final look. So you can see there now the dust particles are just present. There's just a few of them here and there. The good thing is, is that you can always go back and you can just drop the opacity on all of them and just make them look a little bit more realistic. So there we go. That's now looking a little bit better. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I look forward to seeing your images. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.